Hey guys, so I want to give you some quick tips on how to make beats in Pro Tools uh, using Arcade. Right now what I have open is my producer template. You can download this template for free if you uh, want to get into making beats in Pro Tools. Or perhaps you already do and just need a good solid template to improve your workflow. This is definitely something I recommend. I use it for all my beats. Alright, so we have the instrument tracks on top, 1 through 4. So right now we're going to just insert Arcade. I'm on a Mac, I'm not using an interface, I am on a laptop, and uh, for, as a MIDI controller what I use is the laptop keyboard, or I draw in the MIDI. So if we go to lines, let's say we pick, uh, let's go to these synths, let's find a sound. Okay, that works. All right, so let's just record some. So let's press record. Okay, that's good enough for a loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this MIDI. So what you can do right now, what I'll do is press control and click in the region and it'll change from uh, clips to notes. You can just drag this over. And then from here, you take the record button off, you can go back to clips, and just drag this into an audio track. Let it render. And boom, there it is. So I have the instrument track muted, and the audio track is playing. Now with the template, I already have some reverb and delay on the channel. And this output is going to a channel called Melody. Aux 1 through 5 will be handling audio 1 through 5. So all these channels are routed out to this. Alright. Let's say you want to stack that. You have two options. You can go back to the original and just change the sound. And I'll give you an example of what I mean. Okay, so then you can stack the melody with that. Let's say you didn't want to move this. You can just insert arcade on another instrument track. And then experiment with a completely different sound or go back to the same line with the same sound. So let's go back. Let's say I want to use another kit. If you're going to start on a new channel, make sure that the note, the root note is the same. So for the top one, we're in C major. You can change that to a minor, you can change that to anything you want. Just make sure they match so you stay in key. Alright, so we downloaded, um, I really don't even remember which one it was. But I guess it doesn't matter. Let's go to ambivalence. Okay, so let's say you want to record that. So now you have them both running simultaneously. Same thing. Back to clip, take the record off, drop it into your audio, and your rendering. So now your melody sounds like this. We're going to loop four bars. Okay, and then you can get funky and add your extra sauce, whether it's maybe... Let's say we want to use uh, halftime. time. 
I would put it here in the mix bus so it affects the entire sample. You know, let's say you want to add another VST that's not arcade. Go to your instrument track, and uh, if you want to put a piano, let's say the Mini Grand, which is a uh, stock. Just load it up, let it do its thing. And now, let's say you want to add your, you want to add your own chords. You can do that. And get creative, get creative with your sample, add your own sauce to it. Not exactly the right sound, but I think you get the idea. Now you can just add your own sauce to the melody if you think it needs it. Otherwise, just leave it the way it is. You know, so it gives you a lot of versatility. The template allows you. So you can make the entire beat just using arcade sounds, or you can use it with a mix of arcade and other stuff. You can import other samples if you like and just keep stacking. But that would be the quickest way for you to render your MIDI into audio. Um, and then you just continue on. When it comes to the drums, I use my own trap sounds, I use my own hip-hop sounds. I don't use Arcade for drums, but that's just a preference thing. Uh, Arcade has plenty of good drum sounds that you can use in there, and it would be the same idea. I keep my percussion section to the bottom of the template, and then you could start looking for your drum sounds and just stacking them the same way. Alright, well, I hope that helped. Drop a comment, let me know if uh, there's anything else we need to cover. Peace.